Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi everyone, Titan Suit Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of this new Kalela record, Raven. This is the newest full-length LP from alternative R&B singer and songwriter Kalela, one of my most anticipated albums of the year, and if you're in the know, the long-awaited follow-up to the fantastic Take Me Apart in 2017. So it's been a while since we've heard a new record from her, however, in the short time uh, that she had sort of broken out in the music industry, Kalela proved herself to be an artist worth waiting for, especially given how effectively she was able to define herself in an already saturated pool of left-field R&B artists. But mesmerizing production and mystical songcraft will do that. And I would have been up for another helping of exactly that, however, it's been so long since the last record, it's hard to believe Kalela would just wait all this time to repeat herself. Thankfully, Raven is kind of a refreshing new approach, but one that as I listen listen to it again and again, I'm not finding it to be uh, as interesting. It sort of started with the teasers, namely the first one, Washed Away, which was so slow going, atmospheric, and spaced out, it's kind of a tough sell as a single, though I was happy to hear it work effectively as a tone-setting intro on the LP. There's Happy Ending as well as Contact, which is pretty representative of certain pockets of the album, where you'll catch Kalela singing very sensually over smooth, easy-going breakbeats. Lots of of glossy synth patches too. Not exactly original or groundbreaking in the grand scheme of things, but these songs still serve as some of the strongest moments on this entire record. From the beats to the vocal performances, it's relatively bold. And kudos for recapturing those old school UK warehouse rave vibes with a bit of a dreamy edge. Furthermore, I'd say Mist Calls another track that scratches this itch and is the punchiest of the bunch. Then there's another teaser, On the Run, which is one of a few cuts on here with romantic vibes coming off of it. A a subtle dancehall groove, too. It's a pretty and ethereal lovemaker with some passionate lead vocals to boot, but the instrumental is a little too faint for my taste. Not so much that it outright ruins the song, but the sonic presence of this thing is so thin and lightweight, it's nearly anemic. And that's even more so the case for quite a few tracks on the back end of this thing, as I think this album starts a lot stronger than it finishes, with a pretty strong run of tracks right up until Closure, whose guest rap verse and dissonant chords changes on the back end are kind of jarring and wreck the mood, the momentum of the record so far in a way. But to my earlier point about the toothlessness of this LP, cuts such as Fooly as well as Holier, the cloudy passages of New Agey Bliss on these cuts bring the vibes for sure, but not much else because melodically and aesthetically they come off kind of deficient. And I wouldn't say Colella's vocals pop out in the mix either, because there are moments on this album where they alone kind of carry the track, uh, just not here though. Later cuts such as Bruises do pick up the pace here with some driving house beats, however, I found most of the additional rhythms and progressions brought into the track as it was moving along to not have that significant of an impact on the groove. There's also Divorce, which again is pretty, is moody while it's on, but there's not really a whole lot of notable progression on this cut while it's moving along. It kind of seems like a glorified interlude. Then Enough for Love, I found to be easily the weakest single of the bunch, with slightly grating synth leads that come off like a mismatch with some overblown bass and very, very, very heavy rhythmic sequences that take over nearly everything in the mix. It kind of plateaus after it reaches a certain peak of intensity too. And the closing track is pretty washed out and uh, toothless as well, though in a sense I get that that does uh, match the intro cut of the record. Still, at this point, at the very end of this hour-long album, uh, something this reverb-laced is not all that novel-sounding. And I guess that's kind of my issue with the album overall. It starts pretty strong, again. There are some notable songs and moments across its runtime, be they the strong handful of tracks on the front end. Uh, the title track has a pretty amazing ending, too. But after a while, I feel like Kalela in terms of songwriting and aesthetics, paints herself into a corner and does so relatively quickly. And while I do appreciate the album's attempt at being an immersive experience, the sounds, the textures, the colors of this record's aesthetics overall are not so intriguing or rich that I'd want to be, you know, soaking in them for as long as this album is asking me to. I'm feeling a strong six on this one. Transition, have you given this record a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? 
What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like, please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another video you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Colella, a forever.